In this video we're going to take a look at a new uh, equation plotting app called RealPlot. It is in some ways much more flexible than the one we looked at in the first video, but in another way it's more limited. We don't have the option of putting points into the XY plane and finding out what the corresponding equation is. Uh, in this particular application we have to supply an equation or equations in advance. A few words about the first screen we see. In the top we have a listing of some interesting equations to try. The value of this list is it reminds us of the kind of notation we have to use when entering our own equation on this line right here. In this presentation I'm going to be following quite closely uh, a document I wrote and put up on the website called uh, Creating and Presenting Plots of Equations. That's available uh, via a link on the Module 1 homepage of Math 101. On the first page of that document, which I recommend you download and keep at hand as you work your way through this video, uh, I have a short list of the most common notation conventions we'll have to follow. Instead of a square root sign, type square root parentheses variable x. For x squared, type x up arrow 2. For the multiplication ab or a times a, you have to type a asterisk b. This is required in all cases. For a fraction, you have to type a over b. And to avoid confusion about what's dividing what, I think it's probably a good idea to put uh, everything in the numerator and everything in the denominator into parentheses. The first example we're going to look at is a circle with a center at point 2 minus 4 and a radius of 3. We remember that the, uh, well maybe we don't, but I'll tell you, the equation for a circle with center at point hk and radius r is as follows. x minus h, the quantity squared, plus y minus k, the quantity squared, is equal to r squared, where the center is at hk and the radius is r. So in this case, that equation will be x minus 2 squared plus y plus 4 squared is equal to 9. Now, before we do anything on the computer, we get a piece of scratch paper and a pencil, and we make a sketch. And from the sketch of our circle, we determine that in order to display it properly, we want to show the following range in the x and y values. We want to take a look at x from minus 2 to plus 6, and y from 1 to minus 8. So let's do that. We type in the equation x minus 2 squared plus y plus 4 squared is equal to 9. Let's use a uh, red line. Let's make it solid. Let's make it big. Let's make it 2 point. Great. Okay, now the region x, y plane to show, x value on the left side will be minus 2. Again, we determined this from the sketch we made. And on the right will be 6. And the y value on the top will be 1. On the bottom, I'm sorry. Uh, on the bottom would be minus 8. And the top will be 1. Now click on this to generate the image in PDF form. You can put it in PostScript too. I won't do that because frankly I don't even know what PostScript is. But we'll generate this image in PDF. Okay, and there it is. Isn't that pretty? Now, this is a PDF image, so by putting our cursor down here at the bottom of the page we can locate the tools for the display and we can click on minus to bring the thing down to a manageable size. All right, fine. So that's good on the computer. We need to transfer it into the, the document that we're preparing for our homework. How do we do that? Glad you asked. While staying on this window, we come to our keyboard and we locate the alternate key, the ALT key. That's on the lower left-hand side of your keyboard my keyboard is right next to the, the Windows key, which I never use. Okay, so you hold down the Alt key, and then in the upper right segment of your keyboard, you find the Print Screen key, P-R-T-S-C. 
Now you tap that. Now you have to hold down Alt or you're going to copy the whole screen instead of just a window. The Alt tells the app to just copy the window. So we click that and that copies the image onto our computer clipboard. Next we go to the Word document where we are writing our homework. Locate the insertion point as usual and click Control V and that pastes the window we were looking at before complete with our circle into our Word document. Are we finished? No, we're not. We've got to get rid of all this garbage and make it look nice. So we click on the image, go up to Picture Tools, find Crop, and the cropping tool allows us to trim off everything that you don't need, that your instructor might find boring. gorgeous. Now you can click on that and size it and add your own comments either above it or below it. One trick I enjoy playing is put in a table with just two cells some reason it's not going to let me do it. So we'll skip that. that. That's fine the way it is. You can type a comment above it or below it. For, for information about putting it into one cell of a table and making it look better, take a look at the, the document that you can find by clicking on the link on the Modu One homepage. And that concludes that example. The next example is to find the roots of a quadratic equation. Uh, now obviously we can do that without using an equation plotter. That's just an algebra exercise. But then, then we want to illustrate our results by plotting the equation. The equation is y is equal to x squared minus x minus 2. That can be factored, as you know, or as you will know shortly, that can be factored into two terms, x minus 2 and x plus 1. Now the root of the equation is defined as the values of y for which x is equal to 0. Okay, so if x is equal to 2, then this whole expression is equal to 0. Or if x is equal to minus 1, then this whole expression is equal to 0. So the roots are x2 and x minus 1. And the curve should cross the x-axis at those points. Let's take a look and see if it does. Moving right ahead, we type in our equation, y is equal to x squared minus x minus 2. You notice I put in spaces to make the equation more legible. Uh, the, the application doesn't care about spaces. It'll read right through them, not a problem. We'll stay with the region of the xy plane that's default plus and minus 5 in x and plus and minus 5 in, in y. Generate the PDF. Again, we can make our image a little bit smaller, center it, whatever, and uh, well gee, the curve crosses the x-axis at 2 and minus 1. We're pretty good, huh? To move this picture into our homework, we'll do what we did before. We'll hold down the Alt key, click on Print Screen. That copies this image, the whole window, to the computer clipboard. We go back to our Word document, choose the insertion point, and click Control V. And that gives us, again, the whole window we copied. Going with the Picture Tools, we can crop it. Crop it and size it and put it where you want it on the page and add your comments. I did all that behind your back to save some time, sorry. There are several more examples given in the paper, but having viewed this video, uh, pausing on occasion, taking notes or whatever, I'm sure you'll be able to, to read the document available on the Modi One homepage, understand it, and proceed and live happily ever after. And that concludes the second video.